the story was in the um, in the shop. Emilio Amin's prized possession is a letter. It's from the last U.S. president to attempt rapprochement with Cuba, thanking Emilio for sending him a box of the country's finest cigars. <laughs> I saw that he smoked with them. Emilio's long career in Cuban tobacco brought him into contact with many well-known people, among them another former resident of the White House. But neither Clinton nor Carter went as far as President Obama on Cuba, who recently rolled back decades of hostility in a single swoop. The thaw could be a huge boost to the country's cigar industry. Firstly, a ban on Americans traveling to the island is due to be eased, meaning millions of new visitors every year. And under the new rules, American tourists will be allowed to buy $100 worth of tobacco products. Traders at the next Havana trade fair hope to be busier than ever. If the rules on travel from the United States are to be relaxed, 2015 looks set to be a record year for tourism in Cuba. While that's economically attractive to many, particularly those in the tobacco trade, others fear the communist island might not be able to cope with double the number of visitors it already receives. In high season, Old Town Havana is bursting at the seams. If more tourists come, experts say, the infrastructure has to grow accordingly. You need certain conditions uh, on the ground. You need more flights from the United States. You need more infrastructure, I mean, airports, all that in Cuba. Uh, I'm not sure if that's available right now for that to happen. One former diplomat sees a unique window of opportunity for the Cuban economy to grow. I think the most important thing to watch now is the speed with which they settle on these agreements. Why? Because the next two years are when the agreements reached today will become irreversible. Inside his garage, Emilio Amin has a relic from another era. It's rusted and in need of complete overhaul, but the essential parts are there to get it moving again. For the good of the economy, he hopes the same is true of Cuba's relationship with Washington. Will Grant, BBC News, Havana.